Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at the Company of Heroes 2 benchmark once again, as requested by a couple of you. This time with a focus on the AMD side of things, I'm going to be running the Radeon SI Mesa 11.1 drivers on the Ubuntu side, and Catalyst 15.7.1 drivers on the Windows side. So let's go ahead and see the results. Starting right off the bat, we're going with minimum settings at 720p, and on average we are seeing what looks to be like 34 frames per second difference at the most. Now when we crank everything out to the max at 720p, we are seeing on average a 25 frames per second difference, which is a decrease compared to what we were experiencing just now. But now when we go ahead and move everything to 1080p, minimum settings at first, we are seeing once again about a 33 frames per second difference, which is similar on average to what we were seeing at 720p minimum just now. When we max everything out at 1080p, the maximum that can we, we, can, we can get, we are seeing about a 22 frames per second difference on average, which is pretty surprising to say the least. Now, one thing that's important to note here is that Feral's official stance on this currently is that if you want to play this game on Linux, you should be running the NVIDIA hardware with NVIDIA drivers. Now this is understandable considering what we're seeing here is that AMD's own Linux efforts compared to their own Windows efforts, I'm only comparing AMD to AMD here, is that they are not as serious on Linux gaming as they are on Windows gaming. Now I believe Feral have been discussing this with AMD and I believe AMD's stance is still very much towards the workstation and embedded, uh, embedded industries for the Linux side of things rather than the Linux gaming desktop, but hopefully that will change throughout the next year as things get more serious, hopefully with SteamOS. So that was minimum settings just now. Now when we push everything to maximum settings side by side comparison here, this is what I will usually see most of the time. So on the left is Ubuntu 15.04 and on the right is Windows 10 experience. Catalyst 15.7.1 on the Windows side and Radeon SI Mesa 11.1 on the left. And we're seeing what looks to be about half the frame rate in total. So the Linux AMD driver is giving us about 50% compared to what the AMD Windows driver can give us on the same hardware, the R9 390. Nonetheless, it is playable, but you may notice in a moment here that the water textures bug out a bit on the Radeon SI drivers. Now, I do hope that the AMD guys will fix that in their Radeon SI drivers. Alright, summary time. So, as can be seen, we're seeing probably around 50%, maybe slightly less here and there, of the performance native to Windows on the Ubuntu side when we're using the AMD hardware. Now the reason why I used Radeon SI drivers instead of Catalyst is, I'll show you here, the Catalyst drivers perform terribly when it comes to Company of Heroes 2. I would wager that if you can choose between Radeon SI and Catalyst, highly recommended that you run this game in Radeon SI because Catalyst 15.3 15.5, 15.7 all operate similarly to Catalyst 15.9 as well, so the performance is practically unplayable if you're using that driver. So the Radeon SI is much better in that regard, and considering it's being actively developed by AMD and open source developers, we're likely to see some, some performance improvements in the future. So the results aren't as good as the NVIDIA side yet, but at least they are playable. This game is extremely CPU intensive, alright, so it's not just the graphics that are bogging it down, but things like physics, the units and what they're thinking they have to do in the next path. That stuff is really insane. That's why you see pretty much low frame rates on Windows as well because a lot of CPU intensive tasks are happening in game. So that said, that's the end of this comparison video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you got something useful out of this. I hope I haven't made any mistakes. Let me know if I have in the comments below. I welcome your constructive criticism and thank you for watching.